preaching, citing scripture, sharing the gospel from the few pages and sections I've been alive. But I'm going back through this word, all of it, new eyes. I see now for every verse they use to support our bondage, there's another demanding our freedom. Every verse they use to, to justify our torture, there's another damning them to hell for those actions. The Lord has spoken to me. Visions of what's to come. A rise of good against evil. The first shall be last. And the last shall be first. Brothers, we've been chosen. What are we going to do? Same as David, Gideon, Joshua, Samson. What? Six of us at first? up it's your boy G Rock man before I even start this video it's so important I want to have a moment of silence for all the targeted individuals everybody's being gang stalked in this country and across this world we're just gonna have a moment of silence for them um, as well as myself you know what I'm saying but you know some of us is not as strong as others so this is why this video is being made so this is a moment moment of silence Alright, so I'm on location, you know what I'm saying? I'm on location uh, where I believe that my gang stalking started, which is my elementary school. Um, I went to this school from kindergarten to sixth grade, and it was pure hell all six years, you know what I'm saying? So, it, I mean, getting talked about, they were talking about me because I was, uh, my name's Gabriel, you know what I'm saying? If y'all didn't know, my name's Gabriel, named after the angel in the Bible, okay? And they used to call me gay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you're gay. You're gay, bro. You're all this, just making fun of me. Every day was just treacherous. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's because I was a light skinned guy or they thought I was soft or I don't know why they treated me the way they did. They just did, you know, and made my life hell. You know what I mean? So uh, we're talking about early 90s. You know what I'm saying? I started, I think I believe I started kindergarten about 89, 90, around that time all the way till 96, pure treacherous. No friends, nobody wanted to be my friend, nobody liked me, uh, my home life sucked. So imagine going to school, it sucks at school, and then you go home, and it sucks at home. It's like, man, it was times where, especially in the sixth grade, I tried to uh, take my own life, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was like, man, I, I start sniffing rubber cement glue or whatever that they gave us in art class and I try to take myself out because I was so distraught and tired of living like that. And no young kid deserves to have that type of feeling. You know what I mean? Every day. So that's why I believe I was a targeted. I've been targeted since the jump, you know? But I want to talk about today, I want to talk about, you know what I'm saying? how much strength it really takes to overcome this program, man. You know what I mean? These people breaking in our houses, bro. I mean, I don't know. I had a couple people make comments on my page in the past, like, oh, he's a perp, he's a gang stalker. I'm like, how? Why would I be for them? But all of, all of the experience all my whole life was hurt, pain, misery. It, it, it was up until recently, and I'm 37 years old, by the way. Up until like last year, this time, this is uh, this marks my anniversary of me waking up to finding out what gang stalking is. This day, I found out what it is. What was it about? All that, and it blew my mind. I could, I could not believe it. I could not believe that someone would or people would actually do this to people. But it's true. It happens. But. We can't allow what others' actions and what they choose to do to us affect us and our destiny. You know what I'm saying? Our destinies are written before the foundations of the earth. He knew exactly what we was going to say in each moment before we even said it. He knew what we was going to do. He knew who is who. He knows the amount of hairs on your head. So it's, it's, all, it's all part of the plan to me. Um, I believe without me 
experiencing tremendous harassment in my earlier years, tremendous uh, bullying, uh, you know, all, and all that. I, I wouldn't even be strong enough to even stand the program uh, when I when I started getting gang stalked. When I found out I was getting gang stalked in 2018, March 3rd to be exact. So. I just, you know what I'm saying? My heart goes out to, to all people that, you know, especially like Tony. I just watched Tony H video. If y'all know who she is, subscribe to her. She's a target. We need to support each other. We need to we need to uplift each other. Uh, and also shout out to DB. Uh, he was saying some real stuff. He was like, man, yeah, the targets want to hook up, but you can't send a video, you can't send a picture. Uh, you, you, you people tar target individuals scared to, to get with other targeted individuals because you think everybody's a gang stalker. And I get it. It's a defense mechanism. You gotta have your, you gotta have your guard up. Uh, you hyper, you hypersensitive to, to everything. You notice everything, and I get that. You have to in this program, or you, or something bad could happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to talk about uh, a lady. Uh, uh, her name is uh, Targeted Attack and Tortured in San Pedro. She says she unsubscribed to my channel because. Uh, I, I sound. I was sounding like new greed, or I'm trying. She thinks I'm trying to be new or something. I don't know. It was weird. I gotta post it up here at the end of this video what she said. But you know, for her to unsubscribe, you know, from the truth, and it, it kind of worries me a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, I am an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Israelite is not a religion. Israelite is through the bloodline, through the twelve tribes of Judah. Educate yourself. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're a white person watching my videos, whether you're black, whatever you are, he said, call upon him and you will be saved. You know what I mean? Call upon his name. Fall on your face. Call on his name and you will be saved. And that's what that's what I'm here to do. Um, just because I believe that, you know, uh, that, that the chosen people were stolen from our land, were, were put in bondage in America, and brought over on slave ships, and it says it all in Deuteronomy. If you don't believe it, won't you read it for yourself? Won't you read Exodus? You know what I'm saying? Read about it. You know what I mean? It's true. It, 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 it is what it is. It's okay. But, you know, yes, I was. My, my father was a pastor. You know what I'm saying? In the Christian church, passing that plate. But without him, I wouldn't even be here right now. I wouldn't even be close to Yahshua or found out what his real name was which is Jesus, Jesus in America. But you gotta think about Christianity. If it's if they're mixing paganism with Christianity, saying it's okay to celebrate Christmas, when you know the origins of Christmas, if you find out the origins of Christmas, you'll be like, no, man, it's whack. But people, all, they only they, they only listen to people and don't do their own research. That's the problem I got. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna make this lengthy video, but definitely shout out to DB Games simulation subscribe to the channel if you haven't dude is dope uh he exposing all this gang stalking and he a lone soldier and he's strong you know what i'm saying shout out to young steel as well you know what i'm saying he a soldier as well standing for the truth targeted individual get hit with weapons all that i do too you know uh have i i haven't felt any weapons of late i don't know why i guess it's on and off or whatever they gotta but they know I'm not going for it. You get to hit me with direct energy weapons, I'm going to move. I'm going to leave. I don't, give, I don't care what at all costs. So for Tony H, you know what I'm saying? You saying you was getting hit with direct energy weapons in your private areas and you can't, you know, whatever's going on with you, leave. You got to get up and move. Jesus, Yahshua, he got up and moved. He went from town to town preaching the gospel. You can't stay in one spot. When you are a chosen, elected individual, why would who is the government? Who runs the government? Who's behind the curtain? You gotta know your enemy. See how you gonna fight fight somebody? How you gonna try to do anything if you don't know your enemy? You gotta know your enemy. Before I get in the fight, I got into a couple fights in my life. Before I got in the fight, I had to size the guy up. Like, hold on, hold on now. He's a little bit big. I can't just rush in there. I gotta kind of wait to see what he got. I gotta wait to. You can't just rush in up on no enemy. You you gotta know your enemy. You have to know who you're fighting against in order to be successful. 
okay? Uh, I wanted to talk about, man, I wanted to talk about this. Keep saying this, 333-444-555, like on the time clock. 111, 11, 11. I don't know what weird, I don't know how this is, uh, I don't believe in numerology or none of that. You know what I'm saying? I believe in the most high, Yahweh. He made all this that you see. It didn't come out of nowhere. It wasn't just made here. You know what I'm saying? So why? how is this even possible that these people are talking about, well, when you see 333, it means your angels are trying to get in contact with you and all this stuff like that. I don't believe none of that rhetoric. Because Yahweh don't need to do all that. He just, he come into you and he show you and he guides your path like last night. I was going through a green light. Okay. And something just in my spirit told me to just be calm and be patient with when I went through this light. And some dude comes flying down, running the red light. And I stopped. I stopped right in the middle of the street. I gave him time to maneuver around me so he could keep going. But he almost, he could have he could have killed me, he could have killed himself. Crazy. With that discernment, when you walking on this truth, walking this path, he, he talks with you. You can feel him in your spirit. Okay? I want to talk about also, like, like, for real, also real, like, I think this is all real, bro. Like, why, I don't understand why a targeted individual will allow these gang stalkers to keep you from living your life, to keep you from having kids, having a wife, having a family, having a, a successful career, a job. Why are these people that important enough for you to keep you from other people? Everybody is not a gang stalker. Oh, it seems like it. I ain't gonna lie. I know what it, I know. I know how it feels. Trust me. Trust me, I know what that feels. But everybody's not a gang stalker. Sometimes you just gotta step out on faith, have discernment, read people's spirits, test their spirit, test who they are. It's easy ways you can do it. Leave some money in the car, see what they gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I'm about to leave for a second, man. You cool here? Leave something out on purpose, see if it's still there when you get. It's the different ways you can test people's spirits and see how they are. But just to cast everybody out of your life and not have nothing for yourself and your destiny and your divine divinity, that's crazy. I mean, it's a defense mechanism. I get it, but man, yeah, my circle's small. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, believe it, it's small. But I do have people in my life that I enjoy. I appreciate their conversation. I appreciate um, their wisdom and I appreciate what they give to me. And I don't have to be alone. Why should I have to be alone? Because I'm a because I'm a targeted individual. Because I'm gang stalking. I gotta be alone every day. That's whack, man. That's whack, man. So I encourage all targets, man. St stand up, take your life back, and let's do this. Let's do this. Because you got one shot at this thing called life. All the persecution you have went through, all the rhetoric, rhetoric. All this BS, and you mean to tell me that you're going to allow somebody to keep you from being who you are? If you got to, get up, move. If they're hitting you with direct energy weapons in your house, move. Don't make it easy for them. Make it hard for them. Okay? I love all y'all, man. All my subscribers, everybody watching this video, I love you. I don't love you for no likes, attention, views. I don't even get that many views. You know what I'm saying? I don't even get subscribed. That's not even what I'm on here for. I'm on here to help somebody else. And this is being recorded, not only by me, but by the Most High, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? The Most High. So if you don't like me, you don't like my opinion, you don't like what I talk about, you can remove yourself from my channel and I'll holler at you. And I hope that you will find your way. But if you're feeling me, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and let's get this word out, especially to this target community. Somebody got to be a leader. Somebody got to stand up. Somebody got to stop being afraid and stand up. Grow some kahunas. You already getting gang stalked. 
let me tell you a quick story real quick about gang stalking this week so i'm rolling i'm cruising i'm down there what's this uh i'm a 31st or something i didn't get it on tape but I'm going down the street, you know what I'm saying? I got a witness to it, the actually scene. You know what's dope though? When somebody actually, is, when, when you with somebody and they actually witness the gang stalking. That's what's dope. Now it ain't no secret no more. Now they know it's real. So I'm walking down the street, I'm at the stoplight. Here come, here come this clown. This nigga's a straight clown, bro. Clown. Walking down the street with his hand, he had his, uh, he had his hand in his hoodie like they're looking, making direct eye, you know they make direct eye contact because they want to make sure that you see them. Like this. Just walking straight towards me. You know what I told him? I rolled my window down, right? I was like, what's up, brother? You all right? You feeling okay today, dog? Are you sure? You okay? Okay, man. Hey, man, you have a good day, brother. Straight up. Because if you're going to take my life, well, take my life then. It wasn't your, and you didn't give me the life. Well, who gives you the right to take it? But I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you or your friends or this gang stalking, intimidation, this harassment. Whatever happens, happens. But I will say this. I'm going to stand for my people and they will not perish on my account, on my hands. On my, the blood will not be on my hands because I've did everything I can. With this, with this channel, with my docu-series, and, and I'm gonna start hitting these streets, talking to my people. Y'all gotta wake up, man, that's white, black, Hispanic, Latino, albino, it don't matter. Get this word out here and quit being put into their bubble, letting them, allowing them to control your life. Oh, I got kids, I just can't up and move. Hey man, check this out. You better be a lot smarter in this situation that you're facing than to allow these people to take you up out of your mother, uh, take you out of your realm and your element. It's making me upset to see the people that sit there every night in their house, and they know these people are posted either by, over in, in an apartment above them, below them, in a house across the street. No, they down the street somewhere, hitting you with these radiation beams through your wall, targeting you, hitting you with this radiation, killing you slowly. And you just sit there and allow it happen because your financial situation, because you're not stepping out on faith, because you don't have no faith to get up and just move. That's crazy. Oh, man, bro. I, Bro, there's no way I will sit anywhere. I'm moving. I, I'm, I'm hollering at you, bro. Hey, no, I got to go. I got to go. Hey, man, so, hey, man get, the, get, 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 get the clothes. Hurry up, get the clothes. Come, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way I'm going to sit there every night and, and taking that every day. You know what I mean? So, we, like I said, I dropped that last video. If y'all didn't check that out, man, you need to check that out. Man, because they got a lot of do uh, the F former FBI or Air Force uh, guy talking about being targeted. A lot of these Air Force A uh, vets and everything they getting targeted, bro. Gang stalked. I got a special friend that's dear to me. He getting gang stalked. Don't even know it because he's not smart enough to wake up. It took me a long time. It took me two years to wake up. But I'm a wolf now. I'm gonna stay wolf, man. All my targets, I love you guys, man. I'm going to end this video with that. But yeah, get another shot. Get another shot of this gang stalking. Because it, it definitely happened over there. Young kid over there. The recess playground. Right there. Oh, he gay. Don't mess with him. Yeah. Yeah. He. We don't like him. His name's Gabe. We don't like him. Targeting in the hallways. All kind of fights. Why you think... That's, that's why I don't even see how they think that they can even get this off on me. Because I already went through this ridicule and persecution already. So, you got to stay strong, bro. You got to stay strong. Mentally, bro. Mentally, you got to be strong enough. You got to be smart enough to know, like, hey, man, I need to get up out of this situation. I need to go over here or go over here or do what I need to do over here. But it ain't really no running from it because they going to follow you everywhere you go. But the thing is, don't make it easy for them. Do not make it easy for them, bro. Shalom, bro. I'm out. On behalf of my Hebrew 
family members, to you, my white evangelical family members. Let the Most High Yah, or God's people, children, go. And if you're wondering, as a white evangelical, who am I talking about? I am talking about individuals in this country that we have called blacks, African Americans, colored, and all kinds of other words. Their true identity are Hebrews, the chosen people of God, the Most High Yah, whose ancestors were under slavery from the Egyptians. And according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, when God said, I will send my people into Egypt again, but this time by the way of shipping. America is that Egypt again. And so I come to you with the same words that the mighty man Moses proclaimed to Pharaoh and to the Egyptians saying, Then the Most High Yah said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, This is what the Most High Yah, the true God of the Hebrews, says, Let my people go, so that they may worship me. If you, Pharaoh, if you, white evangelical America, Refuse to let them go and continue to hold them back. My hand of the Most High Yah will bring. And what did he bring to Egypt? Water that turned to blood, frogs, lice, flies, livestock, pestilence, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and the killing of the firstborn. Sure. How is that going to manifest? Does that matter? The truth is, Egypt was left with nothing. Then the Most High Yah said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. Because of my mighty hand, he will let them go. Because of my mighty hand, he will drive them out of this country. Mm. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, right? Let my people go. And so maybe I have been given the privilege 